On the last episode of Melty Chunk, we stole some pots and pans for money, we chopped an oak log, we fletched up an oak shield, we slashed down a thousand gnomes to get 30 attack for an adamant two-hander, we learned the ways of gnome cooking, and we did a delivery and made a chocolate bomb. And today, we'll be getting 65 cooking. Uh, we got a new hat. I don't think I'm a fan, so we're going to go ahead and throw this inside the um, bank. But this is the first collection log on the slot, so that's cool. 45 cooking coming in. We're actually getting 30k XP an hour. I'm surprised at how decent this is. But uh, yeah, 20 levels to go. Oh, I wasn't really paying attention, but we just got 47 uh, cooking and 225 total level. So still riding around 30k XP an hour. Going pretty good. All right, I was just running the numbers a little bit. Um, we got to make 2,300 more of these cheese and tomato bottas, uh, which is going to take us roughly, I think, 10 or 11 hours. But uh, we'll have a ton of food to heal 11, so that's cool. Yeah, maybe we'll mix it up just between uh, slowly cooking some food for more AFK, but we'll find out. We tried cooking some pizzas uh, as an alternate method. I'm burning way too many here at 48, but I might be able to do this at a little bit higher level. I'm also burning through my cash stack, so I'd probably need to prep some more uh, gold before I start doing this, but a nice little alternative uh, to maybe speed up the grind a little bit later on. I got a posty Pete random event while I was doing my little cooking shenanigans here. I'm actually about to go to bed, but uh, we'll go ahead and do this random event get some free crafting XP or some gems or something useful. Oh, I know how to do this already. Alright, and oh my god, four uncut diamonds. That's actually really huge. And we'll be able to craft these whenever we get to the next chunk. So we'll be at the, we'll be getting 43 crafting when we get to the next chunk now, which is pretty cool. Alright, we just got 37 wood cutting. We're actually just AFKing some wood cutting because I had to do some stuff on another account for now. But, uh, yeah, we'll just grab a couple extra logs since we have a fletching chunk coming up soon. Drunken Dwarf Random. Oh, 30 fletching coming in. Huge. <laughs> so we got a hard clue scroll from um, the tree. Uh, unfortunately, we have the lumberyard step, so we won't be able to do this one. We're going to have to drop the very first hard clue scroll on the account. Sad days. Oh, 31 fletching on the account. This is so big and massive and huge and large. Oh, 40 wood cutting! Huge for the account. It's like having a ton of alms. Apple tree seed! I think that's the lowest level fruit tree. That's nice. 42 wood cutting. We can answer the universe now. Holy cannoli! I got a genie! I don't even know what to use this on. Uh, probably hunter again. I really like the game sound that plays. Oh, I hit 35 fletching. That's huge for the account, I think. Uh, we got a medium clue from a bird's nest. Unfortunately, this uh, is in Brimhaven, so we'll be dropping that. But more to come, because uh, lots of woodcutting in my future. Alright, we just got 50 cooking. We can now actually make a... Well, we could make a chocolate cake uh, if we had the items for it in this chunk. We unfortunately do not. But um, it's a big level coming in. Only 15 levels to go until we're done. Um, so about 10 more hours of gnome cooking. All right, with 551 bottas made, we have passed the one mil mark in the bank. Uh, we'll probably end up around three mil by the end of this chunk, or more. All right, and that's 54 cooking. Um, these levels are starting to take quite a bit. Um, yeah, so about half an hour per level at where I'm at right now. Uh, it's only going to get worse from here, <laughs> but plenty of bodas, uh made so far. All right, this bada is very important because it gets us not only 55 cooking, which makes an anchovy pizza, which we can't make, but we get 250 total level. These are the current stats right now. Uh, the wood cutting and fletching earlier kind of helped out. We might end up doing some more uh, combat training. Uh, the tile south or the chunk south of here uh, does require us to get 85 combat to get a task from Neve, so. It'll be nice to knock out a little of that before we uh, head on down there. But yeah, good thing to get. Okay, so we are currently up to 1,067 um, bottas. It's actually a surprisingly high amount on the GE. This is almost 1.8 mil, so we're closing in on a 2 mil bank. Um, we're going to fight some gnomes, uh, train my stats up a little bit. All right, 
just got 20 uh, strength and 27 combat. That actually raises my max hit with this Myth Battle Axe while on aggressive to a 5. We're going to hit 23 and then probably get my defense up to 20 just to use a little bit less food on these gnomes. Oh, 15 defense. Oh, 30 cooking. Pretty big for the... Or, that's not cooking. 30 combat. Pretty big for the account. Um... 55 combat levels to go, and we're at 17 defense. Only three levels to go on that. All right, just got 20 defense. We're going to go ahead and move over to um, <laughs> strength now. And a big level coming in. 27 strength and 275 total. Doing good. These are the uh, current stats. 56 cooking. We got nine levels to go there, and then, uh, well... Just kind of casually training some combat stats right now. So, all right, we're gonna knock out a quick bis task. Um, I do have a bis task of owning a short bow along with some arrows. So we're just gonna go ahead and buy some. Oh wow! Actually, these stay one coin for a long time. And now we can technically train range. We don't really need to for this chunk, but cool to have. All right. Um, five range. We just did a little bit of range training since we bought the bow and everything, but I think we're going to go back to cooking now. Oh, we got our first Dr. Jekyll event, so I guess we're going to have a strength potion finally. That's pretty cool. Nice, thank you. And that's 58 cooking. I can now make pita bread. And that's a big level coming in. 60 cooking, only five levels to go. We can now cook a bunch of stuff that I'll probably never see. Um, very exciting. 61 cooking. Alright, so we got a Sergeant Damien random. So I guess we'll get our first uh, piece of the camo outfit. I really just want the emotes. I think the emotes are hilarious, so. And that's a camo top. So the camo top speedrun is complete. I will see y'all on the next account. Another level coming in. 62 cooking. So after all this time of gnome cooking, I kind of realized that there is a way I could be doing things faster. So to start off my method, I grab a whole bunch of this stuff and sell it to the things. I'm going to fast forward this part because it's not really interesting. And then after I grabbed all that stuff, I'm going to grab these bada tins. This is going to allow me, I mean, this is just what I use to make the food. So we're going to need some of these. Um, the reason I end up grabbing all this extra food to or, or items to sell to him is because I need to upkeep my money. So it starts off like normal. We grab these um, Gianni doughs and bada tins and you use one at a time and you can actually cook them faster. So it's like you can kind of one tick this part. If you mess up, you obviously have to do it like normal. So this is a huge time save on what I was doing before, which was just slowly letting this AFK cook itself. It's a lot more clicks, but um, it is definitely worth it. And then we just drop the extra. And for the next part, we're going to buy three cheeses and three tomatoes. You go ahead and create that. And then if you do it between each one, again, we can save uh, skipping that menu every single time and actually cook them faster. And then you sell back the bada tins after each time, which is making me even more money because we'll be selling less bada tins per world. And then I'll just fast forward through this part of the process. And with just the last one, whoops, let's click. So we just make this last one here. And then we sell the rest of the bada tins and you buy aqua leaves. And this part is as normal. You can make these as fast as you can click pretty much. And this will give us our perfect inventory of 20 bottas created. And from there, we're all set. So this new method, uh, I'm getting about I would say around 50 to 52k XP an hour. The old method, without doing all of these extra clicks and stuff, I was getting about 30k an hour. So this is almost double the fast as what I was doing before. This is going to speed up the rest of the grind, even if it's just three more levels, um, by a significant margin. So this will be really good.
All right, 63 cooking with the new method. All right, and another level coming in. 64, we can now make baked potatoes and mushroom onion. All right, so we're about to hit our 65 cooking. As you can see, we we're getting about 50k XP an hour doing that uh, semi one tick method that I had to come up with. It definitely sped things up. Wish I had uh, known about that before, or I guess messed around and came up with it before. Maybe it's already a thing on the internet. I don't know. I haven't found anything about that. I didn't really look it up. But anyway, let's get 65 cooking. And done. 65 cooking. We can now make pineapple pizza and wines of Zamorak. And then we just gotta make a quick little trip up to the bank. <laughs> Get rid of the rest of these bottas. And this is the last task of the chunk, so we get to roll a nice new chunk after this. So, put these away, grab me a knife and some pizzas. Cut them up. And this is the last task of the chunk. Making a pineapple pizza is done. So, um, yeah, we'll go over uh, real quick just some of the things we've done in this chunk. Uh, our bang value, 5.22 mil. These bottas, 2,568 of them, worth 5.1 mil. Kind of wild how much money we were able to make just inside this silly little gnome chunk. Um, we currently have a, a day and six hours played, so not too bad in the grand scheme of things. Uh, 289 total level, two collection logs done from random events, four achievement diaries done. Uh, we still have our same 81 tracks from whenever we made our trek over here. Kind of made a little mistake with that, but that's okay. 32 combat, and then these are our stats at the end of this chunk. So, all right, let's go ahead and roll that next chunk. Okay, so we're over here at our chunk selector. We have one of two options to go to, um, these adjacent chunks. This is nothing, we can't go up there. Um, this shortcut we don't actually have access to until the grand tree is completed. And we also wouldn't have access to it until we unlock this chunk for the agility. And unfortunately we cannot walk through walls so we cannot go to Otto's Grotto from here. So we have these two options for the chunks, and um, yeah, this one has a lot of requirements. This one has just two diary tasks and also connects to this one and this one, which could give us some interesting things. So uh, I guess uh, let's just go ahead and pick the chunk, because this is how we do it. Center, pick. Okay, <laughs> I was really hoping we would get this chunk up here. Um, because this chunk has a monster that drops a mahogany log, which I could have done maybe some tick manipulation to speed up this massive woodcutting grind. Um, so yeah, a couple of the things we have to do notably, 87 fletching for a magic shield, um, 75 woodcutting to cut magic logs, we need 85 combat. Um, for some reason it's not listed on here, we do have to get 50 ranged to equip a magic short bow. There is flax inside the gnome stronghold. Uh, 40 defense to wear a U shield. I assume I can wear the magic shield as well, so I'm not sure why that's not listed. Maybe just a little bug in the thing, but that's okay. Um, yeah, and then 25 agility to start the grand tree. That'll actually be nice. Uh, we'll have some higher run regen, and it looks like we need to make quite a bit of money to obtain these items. I don't think we can actually wear them though, so. Yeah, I'm not sure if we will be obtaining those or not just yet. Uh, we'll, we'll look into that. And then this easy task here, this is just going to be doing a lap on the agility course. So that's just going to be done. Um, yeah, so we have a lot to, no pun intended, chop away at here down at this t chunk. Oh, we can also uh, start raking these patches. We don't have to rake the patches and start planting trees or anything like that. I'm not putting myself on a time gate with farming, but um, we might as well get the little bit of XP here while we can, I think. But yeah, all right, so uh, let's go explore the chunk a little bit, see what we have access to, uh, any shops. I don't think we get a shop, but we do get a nice bank near some oak trees, which is gonna be huge for us. So, all right, and here we are. This is gonna be the trunk we get. Boom, unlocked. Let's go ahead and go explore it. Oh, we just got a beekeeper random event on our way to the new chunk. So uh, before 
we go there, we're going to go ahead and do this random event. Oh, and we got some beekeeper boots. Um, are these like anything better or any worse? Nope, they are just worse. Uh, but a uh, new little fashion scape unlocked, I guess. But just on a first glance, we have this mounted terror bird here. Um, brand new players. <laughs> no longer just seeing PKers all the time. There just seems to be normal trees. We got ourselves a little agility course to run for 25 levels. The magic trees are nicely tucked away in the corner. Uh, there's plenty of oak logs over on this side, though. I think our spinning wheels are up here. Yeah, we got Ermin. <laughs> Thanks, Ermin. Uh, he does nothing for us, apparently. Um, yeah, might not be bad to train on these mounted gnome or mounted terror bird gnomes. We'll have to see what their stats are looking like. We do have some yew trees in the corner over here, which is cool. All these trees are really just tucked away over here. Um, some more spinning wheels, gnome women, potted plant, another spinning wheel. So we got a nice little flax area on lockdown. Tons of oak. My recording program just crashed. <laughs> um, let's see what's up here though. Oh, this is the bank. So you can see how just close these like oak trees are. These two oak trees are probably gonna be the ones I camp. Oh, there's actually a yew tree close to the bank too. A couple of yew trees. So this is really good. Yeah, this is a really good wood cutting area for us. We can't quite go in the Slayer Cave yet. Okay, so uh, yeah, just another little kid to talk to. Nothing important there. Oh, there's actually a magic tree close to the bank too. I could world hop and chop that. Unfortunately, Neve just happens to be one tile into the zone. But uh, I guess we have access to all this Slayer equipment that we cannot wear. This person, wait, what? Oh, <laughs> they're doing the quest. That confused me. Oh, we do just have a normal terror bird over here. Uh, we can watch people fight tortured gorillas. Surely I can fight them too. Um, and I think this is just the ladder to the bank. And we can talk to the spirit tree. We cannot use it yet. So yeah, it looks like this is my new playground on top of uh, the area I had before. So plenty of grinding to be done over here. Very excited. Okay. So this is going to be the end of the video. Um, here's the current task list for our brand new chunk. We need to get 25 agility to do the grand tree. Well, it's a requirement for the grand tree. We won't be able to do the quest yet. We need 85 slayer, or 85 combat to get a slayer task from Neve. We're going to need 40 defense to wear a magic shield. This will be our best in slot shield. We'll need 87 fletching to uh, fletch this magic shield. We'll need 75 wood cutting to chop a magic log. We'll need to obtain a spiny helmet, which we can buy from Neve. It's going to be our best, our best in slot helmet. And we'll have to complete one lap of the gnome agility course, which will happen with our 25 agility requirement, as this is a diary task for this chunk. I appreciate you watching the video, and I hope you uh, check it out the next one next week as well. Thank you.